I think when we look at the Hungarian market or Hungarian consumption and consumers, how they behave, we need to take into account how macroeconomics is influencing the lives of consumers, how consumers perceive their microeconomic situation, what they currently have in their assets, and how do they outlook and how do they foresee the future in the country, the sentiments that they have. So when we compare this year or the past, let's say, 12 months versus 2012 or 2008, basically we see a tremendous change in every aspect of an average Hungarian, starting from their income, from their debts that have decreased significantly, from the household financial assets which have improved, the salaries which have grown by 20% since 2012. Of course, all of these factors influence the perception of Hungarian uh, people. And what we see that there is a significant improvement, a double improvement, basically on a consumer confidence level from the historical low mm -hmm. in 2012 to a historical high in 2016. And this all translates into the fact that they spend more in the FMCG. Um, basically, the average monthly spending has grown 20% since 2012 on packaged goods consumer, uh, packaged consumer goods. And it's important to say because uh, today we have seen that there is a discussion whether the slowdown of volumes is an indication of a stagnation. I would say that Hungary has went from a quantitative growth to a qualitative growth, where Hungarian consumers are switching to more expensive products when they substitute the um, regular products or the, the ones that have been around for many years to more innovative offerings. A great example is, for example, in laundry detergents where they switch from powder to capsules, where capsules do not necessarily represent the same volume, however they are more convenient, they're saving time, they're giving efficiency and they are more expensive of course. And these trends you could see them in many categories and you can see them and I expect them to continue to happen. One of the important aspects is that we cannot expect consumers to consume more of the same stuff. They have their basic needs and when we look at how basic categories are developing, they are growing but a very moderate pace. But it's the new products, it's the innovative categories, it's the new offerings that basically contribute to growth both across the food business and the non-food business as well. One trend that we all know living in Hungary and we see it, we see the amount of tourists coming for long weekends or weeks to Hungary, but we never really treat them as our potential customers or clients. So as Nielsen we are trying to draw attention of our clients that all the tourists that are coming to Hungary and there are 30 million tourists, official statistics, let's assume half of them are in transit to other European countries, but half of them actually stay and spend time and money in Hungary. It's practically another Hungary coming here. And with the recent trends in the tourism and how tourism patterns are changing, where people uh, rent homes, Airbnb apartments or other services that are available, while they travel low-cost airlines with limited luggage, it actually transforms. These people no longer have breakfast and dinners in the hotel. They're actually becoming normal consumers. They, they're buying here some products to eat in the morning or in the afternoon. They're snacking on the streets. They're also buying personal care products because uh, again the uh, rented accommodation does not necessarily provide everything they need and they don't have the ability to carry it or the willingness to carry it with them. So basically we're talking another 15 million of potential customers who are buying products and they're not going to hypermarkets, they shop in the proximity to where they stay and they come with virtual money and when I say virtual when you're on holiday you're no longer bound by your day-to-day -day routine you have a budget that you're willing to spend therefore it's very important to make sure that what manufacturers and retailers provide to this big amount of population coming is actually fit to their need and their purposes